Floodwaters may have receded in Barrie, but not as much in the capital city of Montpelier, which is underwater this evening. Catherine Huntley is there for us right now. Catherine, tell us, is it getting any better? Well, Darren and Kat, all I can say is what a difference just an hour has made. When we were down here an hour ago, we could barely see the street. It was inches deep of flood water, but now here right across from the Capitol building, um, you can see both lanes of traffic, even just in the last... I would say 30 seconds, a state, um, a state security guard, a state house security guard came and was clearing out all of those drains, which were filled with the gunk and trash and muck. Um, and it appears that that has even done more of the trick. So the floodwaters are receding here and fast, which is a good news as debris continues to be out and around. There's what seems to be a thick sheet of mud everywhere we look and dust everywhere. But Flood water still remained this afternoon all over the capital city. Our SkyMax 3 drone capturing it from the air. People starting to be able to actually move about way more freely than before. Even since we've been here, we've noticed the river has seemed to go down, but still definitely rushing. We ran into a family on a college tour who got stuck in Montpelier and has finally just this evening got a new rental car to leave. Unfortunately, we ran into a once in a hundred year event, uh, but we are grateful to the emergency services and to the, especially the facilities managers here at the Capitol Plaza. They were terrific in terms of uh, supporting all their guests and, and folks were just all willing to pitch in and help those who were in need for emergency services. And those visitors there said they saw many state outside state agencies here to help. Um, a real pull together moment for the city of Montpelier and the state of Vermont. We'll be on top of the situation here as the floodwaters recede tonight and for a while long, longer more. Uh, live in Montpelier, Catherine Huntley, Channel 3 News. Catherine, thank